Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, how are you doing? It is currently 20 past 8 in the morning. And I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. This is going to be like a little vlog, a day in the life of what I get up to on a day when I go to be a TV presenter. Adam's done one of these, Joe's done one of these, I'm late to the party, I'm doing one of these. So for those of you that don't know, I do a little bit of presenting on the old CBBC. So a few days a week I go from home, I go to Manchester, I go in the studios, do all the bits there, and then I come back home. And that is usually Monday and Tuesday, and I have recently started doing every other Friday. So today is a Friday, because each day that I go is different. So what you're gonna see that happens today is what happens on a Friday. And I think, I'm not 100% sure because he's doing panto stuff, but I'm pretty sure on Fridays, Joseph Tiasker is usually about in the studios and all that good stuff because we do a live link to them for mashup, but we'll see. If he's there, I'll get him to give us a wave. If he's not, can't really do much to be honest. So like I say, right now it's 20 past 8, I got up at 7am, got a shower, got ready, sorted all my bits out, ready to go for the day. Right now, I'm gonna grab some breakfast before we go get on a train and go to Manchester. Might have ever turned the toaster on. Hey, 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 hey. Just before we get any further and I show you a little bit more about my day, with Christmas just around the corner, wouldn't you love to know a way to save some money ready for your Christmas shopping? I know I'm already going to be saving some money, so... I'm going to tell you how to as well. Thanks to Karma for sponsoring this video, which is a virtual shopping assistant that you can add as a Chrome extension that will never let you miss a price drop or a coupon code. You can simply add Karma as a Chrome extension by going to the Karma Now website and clicking Add to Chrome, and Bob's your uncle. Simple as that. It is now a part of your Chrome extension. Now, you know me, as you can see, I love lights in my office. It's amazing. And I thought I would treat myself this Christmas to some extra lights that I'm going to be putting just around on that door frame right there. Now these are the lights that I'm currently wanting, but at the minute they're just a little bit out of the price range. So what I can do is save the item and get Karma to notify me when there is going to be a price drop. And the best thing about Karma, I can split these saved items up into different lists. So say if I wanted to save myself some clothing, I could put it into a clothing list. For example, these lights, I can put them into a tech list. If there was some filming equipment that I wanted to save, I could make an equipment list. Karma lets you split your saved items up into different lists. Also, to save yourself even more money, if you do find an item that you like, all you need to do is add it to your basket, and when you get to checkout, Karma will offer you the option to feel a little bit lucky and scan the whole of the web to find you a coupon code that will give you a discount on your order. Or, if it thinks you already have the best price for the item that you're buying, it'll let you know. Right there again, point two. Saving you money. And to save you even more money on certain purchases, Karma will give you cash back and also donate money to a good cause. So there's just been money saved all around, yeah, yeah. So if this does sound useful to you, and let me tell you, it's very, very useful to me, and even Ellie has used it herself. And I think I'm even going to use it to get Ellie's Christmas presents. Make sure you click the link in the description below to try out Karma for yourself. It's a free Chrome extension that you just do one simple click and it will add it to your Chrome bar. Now I just want to say again a big old thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video. And for now everyone, let's get on with my little day to day life. Hello. Now, you might be wondering if you have no idea what it is, what I do. Basically, CBBC doesn't have adverts, so in between shows, it goes back to the studio, which is where I am in CBBC HQ, and we do little challenge type of things, and then throw it into the next show, and it's called a link. And we do about, how many? Like five, six of them live a day, and then also pre-record some on the morning. So that's why I go in so early. I get to Manchester, I do pre-records in the morning, and then we have a little break, and then in the afternoon, we do lives. And today, I am live with Hacker the Dog. Some of you might have seen us a couple of times, you know, doing our thing. Bashed into a teacher. Bashed into a teacher like this, way. <laughs> He jumped, yeah? R.I.P. Jerome the Gnome and all that. I am now on the train, everyone, and this is the one that goes straight to Manchester Piccadilly, and it takes this me. This is the Transpennine Express service to Manchester Piccadilly, calling Manchester Piccadilly. The next stop will be... This 
is where I now walk in and go for the lift. And lots of posh people walk down here doing actual work and I come in to be stupid. Whack to the one, yeah? The name's Hinchy. What up, boys and girlies? I'll have a wander around and see if I can show you where we do things before I go to my dressing room. Let's have a look if anyone's here. Oh, there's no one here, there's usually people in this corridor. I'll show you this. There's no one in this corridor, I don't think. In here, you might recognise it if you've seen the lives in this corridor. This is where we play shooty shooty score score. The net is there. The footballs are here. I'm gonna have a quick game now. Hopefully no one's here to tell me off. Hello, and this is the studio through that door there where I go. But right now, I'm gonna go back through this door because I need to go to my dressing room and there's no one here, so I'm gonna go all the way down this long corridor on a little wonder. And I go in my dressing room before I get ready to go on telly. Hello? Ah! And I'm in! This is my room! Should I give you a room tour? I don't know, it's not really anything special. Do you know what? If they put a bed in here, you could sleep in it and it'd be a hotel room. So before I do any TV stuff, I walk in here, then you come in, and I've got my desk here, then I'll put my lappy top on and do some editing and stuff, do my makeup, make sure I'm looking all pretty. And then here we've got like a wardrobe bit that you can put your clothes in. Oh, we've got some drawers in here, anything in here. And then you can flick this light on. In here, we've got a toilet, a sink, and a shower. So if ever I came in one day and I've not had a wash, I could have a wash just like there. But right now it is about, what's the time? Half past 11 and I usually go into the studio just before 12 to go on camera at 12. And as today is a Friday, I'm presenting with Hacker, AKA Phil, who controls Hacker, the puppet. But he comes in for the lives and the lives start at about, we go in for 3 p.m. So the lives start at half past three. So on the morning, I do pre-records on myself. But Right now, everyone, it's just me and you chilling in here for half an hour until I go in. I've got some editing and stuff to do right now before I go in. And then once that's out of the way, your boy's in there. And I'll show you all the stuff that goes down. Depends if anybody in there wants to be on camera. Make it look like I'm doing something important. Important stuff, important stuff. Finished. And now, everyone, I'm ready to go in studio to go on telly. I need to stop talking like an idiot. Also, today, I brought with me my lunchbox, right? And in here, I've got pasta and pasta sauce. So then when I've finished on my break, I go straight to the microwave, stick it in, press the button, heat up some pasta, and eat that for my dindins with a blooming knife and fork and spoon set. It's a crazy world we live in, everyone. This is where I go in to the studio. Good morning. Who does and doesn't want to be on camera? These are my peeps. Big Brian. Ollie, everyone give us a wave. There we go, this is where it all goes down, everyone. These all tell me what to do back here, but I'm gonna leave them alone before they tell me off for bothering them. Hello, hello, gotta be quick, gotta be quick, because I've told I've gotta go on the floor, but I'm mic'd up, and this little bad boy right here is what plunks in my ear, and that is when I hear people through there who tell me what to do. But it's a bit of a mad world, guys, because they tell me what to do while I'm speaking. You can't hear it, but they talk a lot of stuff while I'm speaking and I have to try and speak while they're speaking. Hello, thank you so much. Whee! But they speak while I speak. And now, seeing who's in here. Big Bob and Big Marco. Peace. I brought it, Bob. Oh, is that working? Do you want to be on it? It's actually on. It's on. I'll say hello, but I'll, uh, hello. Big Bob. How you diddling? Big Marco. Hello, greetings. These are the boys for today, doing some prereqs and all that. It's Go on, all Bob. about peace and love. <laughs> it's all about peace and love. I made this den to chill out in. What do you think? I think I need some help from the Dengineers. Do you fancy hanging out with your mates in your own dream den? The Dengineers are returning for a seventh series and they're looking for enthusiastic, hardworking and creative eight to 12 year olds from Mother Loma. This is what we call a Loma. What's Lomo stand for again? Localised promotion. See, I said that, guys, and someone spoke in my ear. But you can't hear that. It comes through this little bad boy in here. Red lights are on. Mm. That means we're recording. This is my den, and I'm chilling in it. What do you think, eh? I think I need some help from the Dengineers. Do you want to build your... The Dengineers are back for a seven... Seven... Chill out in. What do you think? 
<laughs> go again so we got stuck in my throat. Something got stuck. Man. Shout take one so it looks like you got it in one. Yeah, do it now. Yeah. Shout take one. Okay, recording, stand by, take one. Take one everyone, that take one. You would like to, just like mine right here. This is my very own vlogging den, but I definitely need some help. First take that was, wasn't it guys? Oh yeah. That was the first take. <sighs> This next link everyone, I've got to get these sprouts and I've got to lob them at my very own custom festive coconut shell. These are snowballs with classy Smith characters on them. Am I going to get it? Oh yes, yeah. Big Bob and Big Marco oh, yeah. running the job right here. Oh, big Bob with his big camera. Hello in there everyone. Let's have a practice before we go. Oh, okay, right, I better do it better than that in the link or it'll not work. Brand new Class Dismissed is on the way next and as it is nearly Christmas, I've got my very own festive game that I want to show you. It's right here. Oh, it's two! Yes! That's a number one! I'll try and get it off the desk though. Here we go. This one, give it a good kiss. Thank you so much. Oh no, I missed that one, I missed... <laughs> All of you might be wondering, how do I know what to say? Well, it's all in here, look. This is my iPad, and this is how I do everything right here. So if ever you're watching CBBC, and I'm frantically looking up and down at my iPad, you know I have no idea what I'm saying. And for this one, by the looks, everyone, I've got to sing your Christmas songs. This one, for example, is... Here is my Christmas song. Christmas is here. Christmas is near. Christmas is just around the corner. There is presents. There is love. There is family. There is friends. Thank you very much, Avengers. Vegetarian Owl, big shout out to you. Now we're going to record this one everyone, so I need to shut up. Bye bye. This is the final prereq, which means after this, I go and eat some pasta. So come on, get downloading today and make sure you get them sent our way. Hey, Bob, are you trying to mug my little baby camera up there? So this is the camera that I talk in for YouTube. This is the one that I talk in for the telly. There's a big difference, everyone. This is the big boy, and this is the big boy behind it. Big Bob! <laughs> and just like that, everyone, pre rex are now done. You can't see me here, but right here, pre rex are done. This is the studio. Like I said, on the morning we do like five or six pre-records that go out through the week, and then later on, Phil comes in, aka Hacker T Dog right here and does a bit of live stuff with me. This is the CBBC Christmas tree and I think this is Laura, the new presenter. But right now everyone, I, there's a strawberry in here. Right now, I am gonna go and have some pasta. Mm. I'm just making pasta for me din-dins. <sighs> orange. Well that's the morning done everyone. Just like that. That was pre-rex and now I'm having something to eat and I go back in at three o'clock to do the lives. I also have a little bit of editing that I need to do and when I finished bumped out into there into the corridor that made no sense. When I went out in the corridor I bumped into Joseph and he says he's gonna come through in a second so he'll probably come and sit with me and show his little mug on this very screen right here. I can hear him. What? Yeah, it's right, Hello. Get back. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just eating some pasta. Do you want to eat some pasta off my fork? I really don't. Does it ever make that for you? No, I just made it in the microwave. That's so funny. It would be crabby. Go on, have a piece. Uh, no, I actually don't. Do you want to see the handstand? Show me. Yeah, I'll be seeing like, Do you remember when I couldn't do a handstand in that video ages ago? Run clip. Get me down, please! <laughs> Get me down, I'm drowning! There's not a lot of stand? room here. Not handstand, do a headstand. Show me an headstand. Headstand is your head. Yeah. So they told me to do a headstand first and then I can do an handstand. I've not done one in a while, but it makes a lot of blood rush to your head. Just be quick, you've done your hair. Oh, that's yeah! Good. How did you do that? Pure strength, bro. <laughs> You're so. <laughs> can I do it that way? Yeah, but let me sit in the wardrobe so you don't clob me. Go on, mate, give it one. <gasps> Oh, oh. <laughs> but I'm up there, aren't I? I'm yeah, go there. on, give me some, you'll get that. <gasps> oh, oh, good. Yeah, you're too sick, mate. Give me some. Some people tell me to do it against the wall. I was going to say, why don't you do it against the wall and then try to walk out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 someone's next door. He's going to break the wall. Right, Joe's just said he's got a prezi for me. Are you ready? Go on, then. It's one of these. <laughs> <laughs> go on, what have we got? 
A big monster Ooh. munch packet. Oh, mate, do you know what? That was so right. I went to the shop this morning. They're a bit healthier for you. They are, but they didn't have any other crispies, so do you know what? What? I good. love these. That's all right. When you open, there's probably that much in them, but it's so good. They're amazing, them. Uh, quickly. Go on, then. <laughs> Headstand is different from a handstand. Yeah, go on, push them up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm never doing with them again. <laughs> well, thanks so much for my present and that handstand. Well, that was lovely. I had a little visit from Mr. J to the T, yeah? I did forget to take my camera, but I've literally just gone downstairs with Joe to have a little wander around the mashup studio. And the size difference in studio down there compared to what I stand in is blooming massive. But I am now just going to crack on with some editing for an hour because it is about ten past two and I've got to go back in at three. So I'm going to get some editing done and then I'm going to go back in there. But I always forget it's so weird because you guys can't hear what they're saying to me while I am presenting and the little earpiece thing plonks in my ear and basically to give you an example of what I have to do while five different people are speaking at the same time in my head this is how it sounds. Hello One everyone, minute. welcome back to CBBC so HQ, you it is me, Lee. Oh, Ninja Express is on the way next, and the ninjas have to try and take the legendary sword from the star 30 oh, yeah. seconds. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Make sure you keep yeah, sending the shout out for the shout that is what happens while I am speaking. Five different people are using their voices, speaking across to each other and speaking to me, counting me and everything all at once. But I love it. If you're enjoying this type of video, please do leave a like because this is just like, um, this is a day in my life as a YouTuber and a presenter. It's weird. I can't lie. And Joseph, thanks ever so much for me Monster Munch, brother. Respect, yeah? And now, you little rascals, it's three o'clock, as you can see. Right. There. So I am heading back into the studio now where we will be joined by Hacker of the Dog ready for some live stuff this afternoon. So this is where it all goes down with all the games and stuff that we play. Look at this long corridor I've got to walk down to get back to the studios. But when we get in there, he should be there. Big Phil, ready for a big day. And also down there, you can't see it, the light's not on, but down there, there's usually like, um, what's it called? Orchestra with instruments and a guy that stands there wigging his fingers and instructing people to stray play instruments. It's a crazy world. Hello. 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 Guys, a gangster. You mustn't. You mustn't. That's it. We're doing hashtag content. Are you on? Hello. Hello. The internet. Hello. That's Hacker the Dog yeah. in human form. <laughs> you love that song, don't you, Bob? <laughs> I'm going to hide around this corner. I'm scared, Bill. <laughs> Shh, Bob. I'm waiting for Bill. I'm gonna scare him. Don't blow my cover, Bob. I'll be on again. That'll Why teach you. You take so long. Did I swear? Speak? You can't use that. I can't watch me. I'll do it again. I'll not swear. All right, all right then. Okay, you come back down. <sighs> Oh, fiddle dee dee! <laughs> what a treat! <laughs> what a treat it is to see this beautiful strawberry blonde face. Peace out on that, yeah? Respect, word. Respect, bro. Really big time. Whoops! I'm in all bl- Are you recording? <laughs> We're doing some uh, hashtag content for the uh, YouTube, I believe. Oh. It is indeed. We're doing hashtag content, bro. And right now, we're rehearsing for the first live link, which is at half past three, is that correct? I don't know. Yes, that's Brian. I'm not in charge. Be right. Tell me. 25 past. You see, in my ear, they just said 25 past, but you didn't hear that, so I'm going to tell you. <laughs> You've learned all your words, have yeah, you? Yeah, I've learned every word, cocker. Since when uh, have you been dressed like that? What are you going to? What are you doing? Well, this is me Easter costume, but I'm keeping it on for the next four months. Oh, it looks very lovely. It's fetching, isn't it? What's underneath? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Respect, yeah? R word. Yeah, except for the top, brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, it is indeed. And how come it's the weekend? It's Friday. The weekend is coming up. Yeah, are you ready for it? Of course I'm ready for it. I've got my festive dress on, but late, mate. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. That was live, wasn't it, yeah? That was live, that. That was well. I'm nervous. Well live, that. That was well live. Well live. It? You know, while I'm sat up there, everyone, doing all the madness, being on screen, Phil hides behind his desk. I will take a picture on my tablet. I've just been told to take a picture on my tablet, everyone. Always working. Goodbye. Hashtag Always vlogging. working. Hashtag vlogging, bro. I've got to take a picture of this. These are your shout-outs all here. Look at them. They're looking beautiful. Thanks for shouting us out. Stargirl, 
Rainbow Rhino! Snowy! Oh, you good luck. Thank you. Hello there. This is my new mobility transport but I'd just like to say that this link we're about to do right now is the big boy that you always see when we've got the instruments and we're on top of the things and we're singing Welcome to HQ, it's the place to be. Word, yeah? And we're about to do it but I'm just messing about on this while we're waiting because we've got two minutes until we're live. So I'll film this one because it's well glitch, yeah? Let me see if I can get around to hacker on this just before we start. Can you see me, brother? Yeah, what about now? Oh, yeah. Do you like it? You sat on my donut. I'm sat on your donut, mate. You're welcome. I'm, I'm probably going to lose my licence for it, though, aren't I? Yeah, we can't mind. I'll use it. Nice to see you. Yeah. Can't do that, bro. Peace out, bro. I'm going to go put it back because we're about to go live, everybody. They've just said one minute. Oh, one minute and I'll put it back. I'll see you on the live. Lynchman, yeah. let's sing a song, Word. Oh, let's do it, Word. Yeah. Welcome to HQ. It's the place to be. Spend the afternoon with your streaming face family. Right now, you can enjoy a little bit of Ninja Express. That was how it's done, everybody. That one had a live feel to it, everybody. That's Respect, right. yeah? yeah. Live <laughs> feel. Word. <laughs> right, everyone, we've done a couple more links since I've last spoke to you, but I'm speaking to you right now because I'm wheeling around on my little machine again. But I'm also coming to tell you that the next link is the one I was telling you about this morning where we will be linking with Mr. Joseph Tax. And the Saturday mashup crew. So, in about 20 minutes, you'll see him right oh, oh, cool. yeah, there cool. on that screen. And I told him earlier, I said, when we come on today, I'm going to tell you that my camera's on and I want you to give us a wave. So, I'll get him to wave at you, everybody. But we will be linking with him up here. And I'll ask him questions and I'll go, hey, Joe, what's happening? And they're going to tell us. And then they're going to do a competition. And then it's all going to go yeah. down. Have a good day. Oh, yes. Loves days with Lee Inchcliffe, don't you, Bob? I do. Loves them. Loves them. I don't think he can hear us or see us yet. But he's there. He's there, look. He's sat on the sofa. He can't see anything. Hello! Hello! He can't see us. Anyway, I'll wait until he can hear us. He's there! He can see us! Hello, Jonah! <laughs> I can hear you now! I can hear you! Whoa, yeah? Look at them skills! Oh! Oh, fresh moves, bro! Now, everyone, we're gonna do a little rehearsal with the mashup crew, so I'll be with you in a second. Joe, I've got a question for you. Who's your fave CBBC presenter? I'm not sure he's available in the studio right now, he's just on the screen. The last time you saw me in your video, I just see the improvement of my handstand. <laughs> yeah, go on, do it live. So is this one a headstand? <laughs> Hello, hello! The Dengineers Christmas Den is on the way next. Hacker, are you excited for that? Hallelujah! But first off, let's go over to the mashup crew to see what's going on on their show this yes. week, shall we? Hello, the current cast of mashup. How are you getting on? Christmas Den! Yet yeah, it is. Clear, bro! Okay. Did you see that everybody? Did you see that? Just in a live link with Joseph Tiaski on the screen. So right now we are doing, how many links do we have left after this one? Just one. Just one. Oh, just one. So that was the five o'clock. Then we have one at half five or something like that. And then we're done. 17.32.40 to be precise. And after that, Brian, you're interrupting me. <laughs> I'm just telling him off everybody. But after this one, we're going home. Thank you for all your support today, Lee Inchcliffe. Yeah. I appreciate your time, effort, and for bringing in the numbers. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks Hello. for a lovely one. See you later. Have a good weekend. Hello. I'll see whoever's in Hello. for the Christmasness. Hello. Yeah. Well, I had my microphone turned off on that last clip, but that was the last link because we have a link at six o'clock, but we've pre-recorded it, so it's currently 20 to six. So that one goes out, we all go home, and that's it. That's a day done at the Beebs. But I'm gonna take you home with me, don't worry about that. But yes, I'm kind of annoyed that I forgot to turn my mic on for the last clip. I'm just getting my bag ready. I'm gonna nip to the toilet, and then I shall be getting an Uber back to the train station, where when I get home, I am gonna have a big, fat, Popcorn chicken takeaway. Fun fact, before I go anywhere, this room right here is where I did my first ever thing in this actual building a couple of years back with Lewis Maxwell, who was doing some stuff with CBBC, and we filmed some bits in this room. Right now, I have to go all the way, but it's like a maze going around this building, but I go all the way back downstairs and outside. It wasn't me. <laughs> Enjoy.
just like that, everyone, I am home. I didn't film much much of the journey coming home because why did I need to film the journey coming home? It was just going on some trains and it was full of football madheads. There was a football match going on tonight, so the train was just full of. Oh, 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 and I was just like. Ah, oh, this is not what I want on a Friday night. But right now I'm gonna go upstairs and see my little poochie because Ellie is out at the minute. And usually when I come home, Ellie and Blue are waiting in the living room and I just hear this <laughs> and he comes sprinting downstairs to see me, but um, he is currently in the living room. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get his reaction now. Where's my little man? Hello, puppy! Hello! Oh, hello, baby! Oh, hello! Oh, you're such a good boy, aren't you? Ah, and just like that everyone, hello, do you want to come up and say hello? Ah, just like that, I'm back in the same spot that I started in this morning. And that is how a day for me would go when I am doing YouTube stuff and CBBC TV presenting. Isn't it, little man? Hey. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, my good boy. So now when I get back in, all I'll usually do is have something to eat, finish off some emails, any editing I've got to do, any of the like jobby bits that I need to do, and then... Go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. Even though I'm not going to see BBC tomorrow, what I have on tomorrow is filming stuff, editing, I'm at home tomorrow. So that's my life a little bit. If you have enjoyed this video, please go down below, leave a like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. If you do enjoy this style of video, let me know. Comment down below because obviously I've never done anything like this before, I don't think. So it's kind of interesting to know what you want to see. And also again, a big thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description to try out Karma for yourself. I promise you, it's worth it. But like I say, right now, I think I'm just going to order a takeaway and crack on with some little bits I need to get done. Have a little cuddle with my doggy and wait for Ellie to come home. But again, I really appreciate you all watching this video. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for the support and everything. And for now, everyone, I will see you all in my next video. Peace.